Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive at Caringbus, Sydney. Okay, this is a Porsche Cayenne Turbo 957 that was doing the actual hydraulic lifters. I've got my tools before, like I mentioned yesterday. Uh, I've just finished putting the actual camshaft on bank one with the actual uh, locking tool in place, as you can see, all timed up. Uh, that's still loose. I've got, I've got to put the actual special tool in, which is this one here. And they increase it to three, I think four bar for memory. So you put you put one bar first and then you slowly increase it to four bar and then you <clears throat> and then you do these bolts up. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. Alright. Bank two is done already as you can see. See the marking before I took the camshaft out? The marking still lines up. Back there. Same here. The marking at the back there lines up. Here, I've got the two dots are lined up. I always do that, so this you can see with the camshaft, it is, so you can't make a mistake. I mean, if you put the tool in, you can't make a mistake, but it's always good to have a uh, little dot there before you take it out, so you know where they are. I usually put one here as well, one there, I put one at the back there as well, so when the camshaft is aligned properly, those two lines are lined up, so you know it's correct. Same here, I've got one here, and another one there, so you don't have to, but... That's something I do for insurance. Make sure everything is fine. So you can't... Those ones here, that's only me to mark so I can count how many teeth between those two. But there's nothing... You don't, they don't need to worry about where the, the sprocket goes because once you, they're still loose anyway. So they have to be loose. So you turn this camshaft. <clears throat> so if you look at the actual bank one, pointing there, and pointing towards there, and bank two, cam lock, pointing to the top, bottom, and pointing to about top at about one o'clock. All right. So now it's ready to actually uh, put my special tool to do the timing. Uh, to try to do the lock up. That, that one's still locked in place as well. That's still locked in place, as you can see. I haven't moved. See there, it's still locked at the back there. So that's pretty good. So now I'm going to put the special tool in finish off doing the actual timing and do up the bolts to the required torque figures and then we'll go from there and start assembling the top and the bottom a few little things and then start the car up all right thanks for watching and please subscribe